But I'm curious to know what you guys think blind people do because they can't see it. How do they know? Man. Oh, has somebody that's do it with that's them? That's a good question. Somebody has to do it for them. There's no way. We we need to find we need to like get a special guest. Sniff, I don't they, know any blind people to ask. Either they sniff or but respect. Speaking of which, get those but subscriber counts up. Oh yeah, right. I need to hurry up. I'm trying to. I want this man to get fired. Yeah, I'll do fine. it anyway. Well, by the time this comes out, the the month would have been over. It comes out on the first. Well, we're extending it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>
This one is arousal. That's the uh, topic. We got kissing, massages, thigh grabbing, or sucking. Which one has to go? <laughs> Definitely not sucking. <laughs> massages. Thigh grabbing. Thigh grabbing. Yeah. yeah. I, I figured we were gonna say that because we do the thigh grabbing. Yeah. I was grabbing my thigh. Like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. You all right? <laughs> Last one is showering, brushing teeth. Lotion or toilet paper? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. I got them a day. I use wipes and I got them a day. Okay, well that fits <laughs> into the. Well, not in the bidet, but it might fit into the toilet paper too. Hey, well, I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to use the bidet. I say lotion. I mean, it's got to be one. I have to wipe my ass because you could fight. You could say get rid of toilet paper and you just shower. But that's a, right after. So wash it off. I got a bidet. That's my shower. That's my booty shower. <laughs> my booty shower. <laughs> but lotion. Just layer up. You don't need. I've been. I don't even use lotion. Staples. I use I use shea butter. If I, I add wipes to it, you're still getting rid of the toilet paper. If I add wipes to it, because that all fits under a toilet paper family, like the wet wipes. Uh, uh, you're still getting rid of it. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. I if I had to add wipes. To the list, then I would get rid of which. Go ahead, go ahead. I would get rid of the lotion. Which, which one, one of these takes to uh, take wipes out? Which one of these is definitely not going? Shower. Yeah, shower. Huh? I didn't even know what the fourth one was. Shower, lotion, toilet paper, and what? Brushing your teeth. Oh, no, shower and brushing teeth. That is for sure. You want to pick one? Which one definitely has to stay? Okay, shower. Because I can kind of brush my teeth and just those open. Yeah, and then at least that's my fault. Yeah. Get the white, get the white man. Okay. Would just... you be open to getting a bidet? Yes. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying yes for him. I feel like, I feel like, once it washes your booty, how do you dry it off? No, you still wipe. Oh, okay. So yeah, I thought you just like it's just, do that. So what's the point? It's just, it's just, well, you, you don't want the water to all the cake up. No, no, no. So if you have to wipe anyway, what's the point of using the bidet instead of just Wiping. Okay, let me say it like this. It cleans it, mm -hmm. so then when you wipe, it's mostly just for drying. Like that first wipe, there ain't no poop on there. Mm. That's kind of it's gonna take a while. It take, it, it, it'll it's probably take a while for you to, to be get used to it. Yeah, I'll get used to it. But like, but like, you're gonna be, hurt. but you're, that first time, you're gonna be like, where's it at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll probably, yeah. Okay, so like when you first got your bidet, of course you have to get used to it. So before you got your bidet, Approximately how many? This is a personal. I'm sorry. Oh, you, how many? It, well, it depends on the on the poop of that day. Because <laughs> you got you got you got your ones where like where like where you do two wipes and like I don't trust it. Yeah. And then you have your like yo like what's going on like why isn't this stopping? Oh wow, that's tough. He did say he's lactose intolerant. He eats yeah. cheese on a and day. ice cream. Yeah. But I do I I I do I did use wipes most. Okay, so are you the type of person that like three wipes and on that third wipe it's just a smidgen of no. foam? Okay, no. I, so you'll I, go I, for the fourth. I gotta go. I, okay. I don't want to see nothing okay. there. I was about to judge you hard. <laughs> now nah, I gotta make sure it's all gone. Okay, another question. I know you use a bidet now, but at one point you did use toilet paper, right? Yeah. Do you wrap or fold? Fold. Gotta fold. Gotta fold. Yeah. So let's Classy. Go. All right. Classy. Weird. I was at Why are you just wrap? You if have to you fold, fold it, for you can drop it. What do you mean you can drop it? If, like, if you, you don't have it, it it's a chance, chance of you to drop it. it. And if you fold it, it's not going nowhere. If, if you drop it, you, you just wasted a lot of toilet paper and now you got to start all over. Why would you drop it if it's I'm not right? saying you're on purpose. I'm saying you could drop it. If you're saying fold it like and then have well, fold it and then have it like this. Yeah. You could drop it. If, if it's wrapped around, around my hand, it's not going nowhere. nowhere. I'm, I'm not, not saying, saying you do drop it, but you could drop it. Just pick it more up. Likely. So with oh, you, you pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> once it's, it's dropped, it's gone. Once it's, it's dropped, it's gone. Like you got to so start wait, over. You wrap, and you're basically wasting half of the paper. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I've never dropped my tissue. Okay, you, you don't, don't speak, speak for the whole human kind. So you need to tell me that you've been wasting half of our. T well, you don't use tissue anymore, yeah. but still. Yes, he's been wasting it. Oh. Mm -mm. Would you rather me not wipe off? No, I'd rather okay, fold. 
I'd rather you fold. I'd, I'd rather you use the bidet. And then if you fold and you don't hold it right, like imagine, obviously we're adults now, so maybe not so much. Imagine in the younger stages where like you didn't hold it right, so like your fingertips are now exposed to whatever could have happened. I've never gotten shit on my finger. That's what soap would be. Ever. You I'm not talking about you two in this room, I'm talking about people, like people that fold and they didn't hold it right. Or they're in a hurry, so they don't pay attention. They just, and then you look and like, damn. Got a little smidgen, smidgen. Just do what you do with babies. Wash. <laughs> wash, <laughs> wash your damn hands. Like, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you should wash your hands with Alice. Okay, so and another question. There, exactly. I'm a germaphobe, so I'm very curious to know. Do you guys keep in public? It's no. no. I have to. It has to be to the point where I can't yeah, hold it. Basically. Okay, that's yeah. fair. When you do poop in public, are you the type of person to raw butt? Or do you no, have her? Never. No, I, 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 no, I, I don't want to see any of the toilet. I mummy okay. it. I mummy the hell out of it. Okay, that's fair. I've actually known some people to say that they, they rob at public nah. toilet seats. And nah. I'm like, you're never invited to nah. my house. I've only done it once, and that's because, like, I, it, I had no choice. Like, I, it wasn't waiting. Mm. You couldn't hover? No. No, like, it, I, 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 it's really hard to <laughs> hover when it's exploding. I get that. It was more mystery to clean up after. Yeah. Like, it was, uh, it was uh, I don't want to remember that experience. Like, All right. The whole, yeah. One time, yeah. at least God let this be the one. Exactly. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I'm telling you. Yeah. It, was, it never happened. It, it, had, now, it had, I get it. Like, yeah. There was no stopping it. There was no, there was no, oh, wait for me to do this. It was like the scene in, uh, oh, what's that movie? White Chick. Oh, yeah, that too. But it was another movie where it was just like, He's everywhere. I can't remember. Daddy daycare. Daddy daycare. Oh, yes. Oh. That's what. That's what it would have looked like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> random thought, but we know when to stop because we can see it and like get confirmation, right? I'm really curious to know. Who is we, girl? No, us in this room. Oh. Okay. But I'm curious to know what you guys think blind people do because they can't see it. How do they know? Yeah. Oh, Has somebody do it with them? That's a good question. Somebody has to do it for them. There's no way. We, we need to find, we need to like get a special Either they guest. Sniff I don't they, know any blind people to ask. Either they sniff or like if, it's, if, it's, if they don't have somebody because not everybody's fortunate enough to either pay somebody or have somebody. to go to work. They have to just have to be like, I don't know. They have to, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want to keep saying they have to. <laughs> Anybody in the comments that could provide us clarity? Provide us yeah, clarity. If, you, if you are blind or know someone that is blind, please let us know. I'm very if curious. Blind, Respectfully. How are they watching our video? Respectfully. They can they listen. Can listen. But how do they get to it? How do they even know we're a thing? How, how do they discover us? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's true. We're not that big. But respect. Speaking of which, get those subscriber counts up. Oh yeah, we're at we're stuck at like sixteen sixty eight. So yeah, we yeah, got yeah. well a week, a couple, less than a week left. Yes, I need to hurry up. I'm trying to. I want this man get fired. Yeah, I'll do fired. it anyway. Well, by the time this comes out, the the month would have been over. It comes out on the first. Well, we're extending it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Yeah, what? we're extending it until Soon? what? I'll do it without the subscriber. Yeah, that. What the <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, okay, so we already just talked about how like blind people don't necessarily have somebody with them. How well I already know your answer because I am the biggest brother. But for you, Van Eric, mm-hmm. do you ever allow your significant other in the bathroom with you? And if yes, how long did it take you to do that? I still want to answer. Well, you can go. No. I'm not there yet. Would you ever? I don't know. I probably will, but like right now, it's like it's one of those things. Like, like that's my that's like so private. Like, <laughs> I feel like because y'all are long distance, right? Yeah. It's different because when we were in Bama, or when we were in Bama, when I was in Alabama, you were visiting every other weekend. I'd still go to the second bathroom. And I was like, I still go, but if it's for every reason I don't feel like it's like, I already live with you. Mm. I hear your stuff in the middle of the night. So I feel like if I were to live together in the future or whatever, 
it would get to the point where like, eventually, and, yeah, it's yeah, still, yeah, it's still spring. So, do you think you would be more comfortable with her coming in with you, or you going in with her? Definitely me going in. Yeah, that's how it is in our relationship. Like, I was comfortable with him like, from look, the jump. Might see still not. She literally it's, like, it's basically you might see a you got in the store like that separate toilet has a door, and she'll have it wide open. I still got to do stuff. I'm like, eh, might as well be in there. I go into either this one or I go downstairs because it's just like we have like. Grown man, shit. We don't. Yeah, that that smell yeah. permeates fast. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, but, and it's fixed there. Not, it's not I necessarily mean, a you thing. It's just yeah. I want to be in my solitude. Yeah. yeah. Without knowing that. Like, but I've know. always been that type of person to like sleep with the door open. I want to bask in my ambiance, but I'm I have fear of missing out, so I also want to have the door open so I can engage in conversation. Nah, my mom's door is security. She does that. I'm like, can you close the damn door? It, it, no. You close the door. I'm like, why? <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm like, but if I do it, like, no, no, I don't want to smell it. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so I have a story for you guys. Um, so this person posted on Reddit saying that his long-term friend stole his toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, so I have an old friend who visits for coffee and drinks occasionally lunch every two or one or two weeks. Uh, we both work as consultants and work from home with flexible hours so we can do this whenever, which is really sweet. Um, and I welcome the company during my otherwise fairly solitary work days. However, I've started noticing that every visit he goes to the bathroom and spends 20 to 30 minutes in there, clearly taking a dump and uses a minimum of an entire roll of toilet paper. Not only this, but several rolls of paper seem to just disappear from the bathroom. This has started happening every visit. I was so suspicious about it today, so during a second toilet visit he made, I opened his bag to find two rolls of toilet paper stashed that I'm sure were from our bathroom. They have a distinctive color and pattern that's not at all common. I was so furious about it that I took them out of his bag and put them in the cupboard. I planned on asking him about it as soon as he came out, but I was overtaken by rage. And then when he returned, I was overwhelmed by doubt and embarrassment that I was being uh, strange and unreasonable. I felt like I was going mad and I stupidly said nothing. I keep changing my mind about who is the bigger asshole. So he went home and is now probably wondering where his toilet, toilet paper rolls went or he's worried about me posting this right here. Also, what the fuck? Yeah, there's no way he's the asshole in this situation. Like, what? Why are you still in he toilet said, paper? He said it's his what kind of friend, a long term friend. Or? Yeah. I feel like if y'all were long term friends, yes, it is weird that you're taking him, but like, how down bad? That needs to be another conversation, a different yeah. type of conversation. Like, if you're down bad to where you're taking toilet paper, you need to have a, a wellness check. Like, yeah, if true. If we're long term friends, don't just be mad. I mean, be mad, but like, check in on them. Also, like, why are you using a whole roll? Yeah, that's too, yeah, yeah. For, for a trick. That's weird. Yeah, I don't think he's actually using the whole role. I think he thought he was, but then he put two and two together and was like, yeah, he should take these my tissue. Yeah, you gotta give me a good explanation. Yeah, I don't think you're an one. asshole for taking your tissue back. I do think you're an asshole for sticking with that and not taking bigger and like, if he's down bad to the point where he's taking toilet paper, something else is going on. Yeah. Or he's just one. Of, he could just be one of those people. Where if you don't ask, you don't know. He could just be a klepto. Like I need to know. Like yo, why? But if he knew he was a klepto, <laughs> he might not. Have he known wouldn't that. have. But if then, what kind of friends are you? Like if you're a long term friend, something would have. You don't know stolen, everything. He, he would have stolen shit before. You probably didn't know because he's so good at it. I don't know. Or something happened recently that now he is one. Oh. I don't know the psychology behind it. I don't think you just become one. I don't think you just become a klepto. I think you, like, it's years and years and years of, I, I can test that out. It starts <laughs> every day, I'll just take one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, there's a game we played at my mom. It was me, her, my two siblings, and my best friend. And, like, we'd go in my mom's living room, and we'd get, like, five minutes to look around, and then we would all leave, he'd stay in there, he'd change something about the room, and we'd have to come back and like try to figure out what he removed, what he changed, and we sucked at it. Yeah, it's I like guess. the live action version of that, uh, you know how it's two pictures, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, that's, that's a fun game. game. Okay, so am I the asshole for reminding my brother that he's adopted and not a true part of my family? Yes. So I'm 19 female, and my brother is 18. 
He was adopted when I was four and my parents have been nothing but kind to him. They treat us exactly the same and he knows that they've given him a good life with amazing opportunities. My only issue is that he's very clingy and too attached. He was always like that. For example, when we were little, he always wanted to play with me and not other kids. Our teachers had, a phys had to physically separate us because he wouldn't let go of my arm. Over the years, the attachment wasn't that extreme, but he still clingy. I'm not sure why, but it's tiring. Anyway, I was FaceTiming my cousin and her friends. My brother was also with me in the room and her friends noticed him in the background and asked who that was. Before I could answer, someone asked if he's my boyfriend, fringe, and I explained that he's my brother. They pointed out that we look nothing alike, so I clarified that he's adopted. I explained that he has never blended in with my family because he just looks and behaves too differently. My brother was suddenly very quiet and left the room. After a while, I went to speak with him and we had a huge argument. He thinks that I hate to be associated with him because I'm always so quick to clarify that we're not biologically related. I told him that he's not a true part of my family, so I have the right to tell people he's adopted. He just looked at me with a blank stare and didn't reply. Honestly, I was pretty mad and told him to leave me alone for a while. Apparently, my dad saw him crying and I got into serious trouble with my parents. I don't know if he told him exactly what happened, but I've never seen him cry, so they probably think it's very serious. They're furious with me and want me to apologize. Am I the asshole for being truthful to my brother? Yes, you are. <laughs> very much so. 100%. Someone uh, in the comments said, uh, holy shit, this might be the clearest you're the asshole moment I've seen on this show. <laughs> like, like... Your brother has been a part of your family since you were four years old. Of course, a child who has experienced enough upheaval to end up being adopted at the age of four could end up being clingy or whatever. You should be thankful that you didn't have to deal with that in your early childhood rather than judging him for his reaction to it. It sounds like you started being jealous of your brother as soon as he, came, he became part of your family and haven't quite managed to grow out of it yet. You might think that you fit in with your family, but honestly, I'd imagine your parents are sad trying to work out where the fuck they went wrong to raise you to be so cold, yeah. nasty, and malicious. You're an asshole, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah basically, like, I gotta be like, oh, yeah, he's adopted, but, you know, he, 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 he'd be like, yeah, he's adopted, we, but we're close enough as if, you know. I mean, honestly, I don't see the point like, of bringing up. The only, part, the only part where I saw that was when they were like, "Is that your boyfriend?" You know, like I don't look like yeah, he's adopted. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. bringing it over and over. Again. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, like, like when it's like to explain that, yeah, but like yeah. he's right there, and you're, and you're going deeper into it. Yeah, 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 you know, you're like, oh, he's adopted, but also he ain't this, he ain't like, he's yeah. like I don't feel like he's a real part of my family. Like, why would you want? Why would you say that in front of That's me? That's just so rude. Right. She's intentionally trying to say things that mm -hmm. hurt him at that point. All right, so am I the asshole for wanting another child? Throw away, because I'm sure some people will find throw this contract. Yeah, the account. It's a throwaway account. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is a throwaway, because I'm sure some people will find this controversial, and I don't want it tied to my name. When my wife and I got married, we agreed that we would have two kids, unless both were girls. Then we try, we try for a third time and try for a boy. I'm a guy's guy and I grew up with only brothers, so I feel strongly that I want a son to bond with. That's not to say that I don't love my daughters equally. I just want to raise someone to follow in my footsteps with sports and girls and stuff. After some con convincing, my wife agreed to this, but said that if the third kid was a girl, we'd stop trying. Anyway, we ended up having one boy, eight years old, and one girl, five years old. This background is important because you need to know that having a third kid was something that was on the table. Last month, our son told us that he likes boys. This is totally fine, I'm not a homophobe, but I'm starting to feel like I want that third child so we can try to have a straight boy. I love my son more than anything and I wouldn't, have a straight, I wouldn't love a straight kid more than him, but at the end of the day, I wanted to be able to bond with one of my kids over traditional masculine stuff, which includes women. My wife doesn't think that this is a good reason to have a third kid. She said that she would be open to having a third kid, but that she finds my reasoning disgusting and she doesn't think that she can go through with it knowing the reason for me wanting one. I don't think she understands how special it is for a father to have a son who can follow in his footsteps. 
Am I the asshole or is she overreacting? You're the, you're the asshole. asshole. You, you can, can still. still you're, I was, was gonna say that before you even read that he was gay. I was gonna say you could have that third boy and he not want. He could be gay or not even want to do the shit you want to do. Exactly. Yeah. Was, this kid could still follow in your footsteps in terms of legacy without with while being gay. Like the name for the sake of the namesake, your namesake will go on. He's a boy. The rest of it is like you can't. The, the next, next one, one, even if she agreed, the next one may not even. Man, you tripping. So, uh, <laughs> and so what he's going to do if like both boys aren't into it, but then his daughter is. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're going to be like, nah, I need a man. Like, <laughs> and God forbid that the wife actually like succumbs to his wishes and goes through with the third child. Imagine how those other two kids are going to feel. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't know. I hope they wouldn't know. Well, yeah, I hope they wouldn't know. They wouldn't but know. God forbid they do, you but know? Then, like, I'm not good enough knows. for that. That's a long time, too. Like, eight, five, and you're about to, if you were to have another one, yeah. that's a long time. Yeah. And she'd mm-hmm. eventually lose respect for him because, like, she'll just know. Yeah. She's like, I know. Yeah. You know, it's like, she'll see how he's treated. If anything, he still asked her. If anything, he should have, like, pushed it. Nah, he would have had to tell her because she was like, you have the boy. You said, you know, we're only going to do two unless you have two girls. So what's the point? Then you would have had to there is no this isn't one of those just because because it takes two to have this baby so yeah and then i wonder if they did agree on the third child and it comes out either a girl or another gay boy like yeah you have no i mean there are ways to make sure it could happen but like not the but that part it don't seem like that's exactly so it's like you taking a chance for a third one i mean yeah the crazy thing the funny ironic thing is not the gay part but like the gender is based off of the male. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's, not, fault, it's almost like, yeah, 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 it's like, you can't blame nobody, but you, if you did the third one, it's a girl, you can't be mad at nobody. Yeah. But you. I guess we'll never know, but if that does happen and they have the third child and it's either a girl or a gay boy, I wonder if he's going to pressure the wife to try and pull her forward. Nah, he, if she lets him, if, they, if she allows the third one, he better just shut the hell up. On the yeah. Third, because yeah. she already allowed the third one. Or it was okay with the third one. There's no way in hell she gonna be. You ain't, you ain't the one pushing it out, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Am I the asshole for saying, whew, you have a long way to go to girlfriend while working out? <laughs> <laughs> oh so God. I try to stay fit. I keep some dumbbells and a bench inside my house. I work out five to six times a week at home currently. I think it has started to rub off on her. She has joined for the past three days, which I admire her for. If you want to change your life, take action. She has. Props to her. Today, I was working on my core. Push-ups, planks, sit-ups. Ten sets of six for all of these. Sixty reps. She joined, she joined a little late in my sets. I had already done 40 reps. I wasn't going to make her start over for the 60 reps. I just told her where I'm at. I got my set in. She's doing her push-ups, but only was able to do four legit ones. I didn't say anything. Time for planks. I do my minutes. Her turn. She only lasted 27 seconds, which again, I didn't say anything. Left it alone. Last one is sit-ups. I do my 10. Her turn, only able to make six legit, six legit ones without moving her feet. This is where I say, whew, you have a long way to go. And she said, sorry. Her energy wasn't really the same after that. After we actually got done with everything, she told me that comment made her feel bad. I told, her, I told her, I'm just trying to push you to work harder. I get that everyone has to start somewhere, but she isn't overly overweight or obese. When you ask or join me to work out, I expect the same energy. Yes, it's the thought that counts, but also it's the action too. If you want to work out with me, I'm going to push you like how I would want to push myself. Okay, that's different. I thought, yeah. I thought like he looked at her and he yeah. was like, you got a long way to go. He could have... He's not an asshole, but he could have said it better. Yeah, and she, she's a little too. She's a little, yeah, because that, because that's basically like if me and him started working out, but I've been working out for a year, mm-hmm. and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm benching two twenty five. He's at one forty five. I'm like, you got a long way to go. Her reaction to that is reflects on how she already felt on herself. Yeah. Him saying you have a long way to go is not, like he said, it's not based on what you look like. It's based off the literal facts of you we were able to do the minute. You only did this, so you have a long way to go. Yeah. You were already subconscious, so you use that comment to come out of the oh, yeah. you made me feel that. No, you were already, I could have said it better, but I'm not an asshole for saying it. Yeah, I could be biased because I'm very sensitive, but I disagree. I think he is an asshole because not only does he know that he's 
way further ahead. He knows that she has basically never really worked out. So the fact that she's showing effort, he could have gave her some encouragement instead of the downfall of saying you got a long way to go. He could have been, good job, babe. Thanks for joining me. Let's try to do this again tomorrow to get better. That's essentially the same sentence, but it's encouraging versus discouraging. Yeah, that's what we're saying. We just don't think he's an asshole for saying what he still said, though. Because not, it's nothing like, like to keep going back to what Van Eric, it's nothing about your appearance. It's just a literal blunt comment about what the facts are. Yeah. You couldn't do, you couldn't keep up. Now, it is fucked up that he's been working out for a while, and this is this thing that she joins. She starts to talk to that counselor. The facts are you have a long way to go. Like, literally. That's it. That's fair. Now, I will say. Sensitive, yeah. He cannot be mad if his comment discourages her so much that she does not want to work out with him anymore. Yeah, yeah he can be. Yeah, for sure. But By the way, way she, she reacted showed that she already, she was already either thinking it or she felt it. Yeah. So he just, it's like one of those, somebody slips and falls and everybody's thinking it. I say, you bust your ass. I'm the asshole. We were all thinking it. I'm just the one who said it. Exactly. And you, you, know, and you literally bust your ass. Yeah. That just reminded me of that clip of, um, oh my gosh, what's her name? Jocelyn was like in front of these girls. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> the girl was like, yeah, I had oh, an abortion of my yes. twin. And then the girl was like, damn, that was on the side. <laughs> No, everybody was thinking. Every, yeah, maybe I mean, not those a little. But that words. is fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she said, and yeah. I don't, I don't know, I know, yeah, what, I don't know what happened after that. But if everybody got on her for that. They need to shut the hell up because you were all maybe, maybe not those that were double homicide, yeah. but y'all were all thinking like, damn. Yeah. 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 At least the word dance. damn was cool. Yeah, the damn. Is but cool. everyone agreed that that girl was the asshole exactly. for saying it. You exactly. can think it, but you don't have to say it and make yeah. her feel bad. She already knows it was fucked up. Mm-hmm. The girl that's trying to work out, she already knows she needs to work out. That's why she's making the effort. You don't have to say it. Okay. If, if you can't be honest with your girlfriend, who can you be honest with? Yeah, but that was too far. That's, that's a stranger <laughs> talking about that, and this is a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Yeah, he I would, guess. Yeah, the the morph would want to be like, damn, double homicide. <laughs> 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 okay, so am I the asshole for letting my son's pet die while, <laughs> while he didn't take care of them and expected me to feed them? My 36 male son, uh, I'm sorry, my 36 male son, 11 male, has had an ant farm for the past five months or so. It was originally a science project for school, but soon they became his pets, which I was completely fine with. However, I made sure that he knew taking care of his pets was 100% his responsibility. I'd buy any food, supplies that he needed for the ants, but keeping them alive was his job. The ant farm is portable and he takes them to his father's place, my ex, male, 38. Wait, oh, okay. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) So there are two men, sorry. Uh, my ex, male, 38, divorced of four years, where he continues to ah, wow, continues to take care of them. He's done amazingly up until recently when he forgot his ant farm going to his dad's. I guess he assumes I would just take care of his pets for him for the next two weeks, even though it wasn't against, even though it went against our agreement. He didn't let me know that he'd forgot, forgotten the ant farm either, and it was only a few days that he'd been gone that I actually noticed his ant farm was still in his room. Edit. The ants may have already been dead when I first noticed them, and it had been at least five days, and I didn't actually go up to the farm to look at them. I decided to stick to our agreement and not take care of his pets. Well, he came home after being at his dad's for two weeks and found that almost all of his ants had died, and he was distraught. He blames me for not feeding them, and when I reminded him that it was his responsibility to take care of them, he called his dad, who agreed I should have taken care of them when he was gone, saying I was being an asshole. So, am I the asshole? This one's tricky. You're an asshole if they weren't dead when you check. Well, when you decide not to check. You will be, in my opinion, you're an asshole if there's anything other than. If it was yeah. a dog or something like that, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Ant, you can literally go, you, you could have replaced him with the ones outside. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, it just doesn't make sense. It's like, okay, yeah, he, for, he one, he forgot it. He, like, oh, it's your responsibility to take care of him. He forgot it, so I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna let it die. Like, that's, yeah. like what, that makes no sense. Like you said, if it, was a, if it was a dog or something, it's like, oh, I forgot the dog there. Okay, did you feed the dog? Nah, he's dead, cause I didn't feed him. <laughs> 
It was, it was, it was, it was your responsibility to take care of the dog. Like, that's what it sounds like. That is, yeah, that is crazy. That's tough. That's what that's it sounds funny. like. I can't trust that person. I'm like, that's tough. I can that's, that's exactly that's what funny it sounds as hell. like. Did you be? Because you know, I did. <laughs> oh man, well, that's funnier than it need to be. What the world? Wait, so she is or is not the asshole? She's an asshole. She is. Yeah. I thought, okay. I said she's a guy. I said I thought, she, I, guy. I, said, I thought it was two guy. Oh yeah. Sorry. Is he the asshole? He is the asshole. Because because basically what he was saying was even if they were alive when he saw it, he wasn't gonna take care of it. Yeah, because he didn't even try to check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I agree he's with an that. Asshole because at the on one note, it's just ants. In my head, he's an asshole because one is just ants. So what's the big deal? And two, when you know that they're dead, it's just ants. You could have got some. It's in your eleven year old son. You could have got some, and you would have never known. Yeah. My biggest thing is, it's your eleven year old son's pet. And you're holding this one mistake. He forgot it. I'm, I'm sure, or let me not say I'm sure, but I'd imagine that he's been taking care of these ants since the beginning of the school year. It doesn't say what the timeline is, but let's say eight months. And this one time he forgets, you're going to punish him by letting his uh, pets die. Yeah, so the bottom line is you didn't want the motherfuckers in the yeah. Exactly. Imagine he has the, the pet ant farm over there and then some ants get in the kitchen and you kill them. But he'd be <laughs> upset. I'm like, those are my, my pet. <laughs> I was like, God, God, God forbid a child does a child stuff. Yeah. You know, does child things like forget things that you told him to. That's so, like a clip from Cat Williams. Like he was like, Black people, you gotta stop beating your kids over the shit that's supposed to be like a five year old or whatever age he said is supposed to want Skittles in a Walmart. You can't beat them for want asking for Skittles in a Walmart. Yeah. Like they're gonna see something the, the candy that they see on TV every day. They're gonna ask for. Don't beat them because they exactly. ask for it. Like, they're supposed to just be a robot and walk next to you. Now what, my, now, what my aunt did do, though, and I joke with you about it all the time when we go to stores, is like, she didn't necessarily, like, let us do whatever, but she, her main thing was, like, hey, I have the keys. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing because you want to go get locked. So if I make it to the car and you don't make it with me, I hope you, ha- whoever you're hanging out with, I hope you have. Now, she's never left us, but I almost... And willing to say she never does because we it stuck. Like we would go to the toy section, go do a little basketball area, but we always made sure like somebody had an eye on her. So I would almost I would like to say she wouldn't have left us, but we never tested. Yeah. Because it's like it's true. Like you have the keys. You're at home. We're at home. We can go do whatever, but we need to make sure we know where you're at. Your job is not to make sure to know where we're at. Our job is to make sure to know where you're at so we can get home. You go. You have. You're gonna get home. You have the keys. Now you can argue the whole, why would you leave a child, da, da, da. and I, would, I don't know if anybody else has tested this theory, but we didn't want to test it. Whether we thought she was about it or what, we were just like, you know what? Somebody keep an eye on her, and she let us have free, own tomorrow we getting in trouble, she let us have free reign, and by the time she made it to the door, all three, all four of us were by her side. My dad left. <laughs> See? Aww. My dad left. He didn't actually leave me, he went outside. So they're like, I killed Marty, he was like, he was like, where were you? I was like, okay, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Sometimes it takes that one time. And maybe, maybe that's, that's what the dad, dad was thinking. Mm-hmm. But like what my mom yeah. would do. Because yeah. maybe he was, as much as I was joking about, maybe he was thinking, it's just ants. I can go get, I can go get more ants. So that's, these won't die. What did you learn? Yeah, but I won't do it again. Let's get you some, let's go in the backyard and get some more ants. But it's just ants, though. Like, but him, those are his pets. We can go get. You know how many? <laughs> that, that still, it's still, it's, it's, the, it's. That kid's not gonna trust you now because, yeah. like, it's just, yeah, it's just it's ants. True. It's just right. ants. But like, again, if it was not ants, actually, he, he may not trust me, me, but you better respect me. I said I wasn't gonna take care of him, and I'm a man of my word. The main thing when you <laughs> at 11 years old, he's not gonna get. He's, he's a at man, 11, man. But when he gets older, he's gonna be like, damn, my dad said he was gonna do this. And actually, that goes back to what we were talking about over the weekend with your cousin. Like, as much as my mom hated the tattoos, she hated the lock, she hated the ear piercing, ear pierce. She finally gave me my accolades two years ago. She was like, as much as I hated them, you told me you were gonna do it and you owned it and you did it. I didn't like it. I hated it every single time I saw you with them earrings in and the tattoos. But you manned up and said, Mom, I'm getting tattoos. You got it, and I gotta respect it. 
It's like you don't have to like. Hey, let me. It's different because you love heroes, but like he would. I promise you, he would never do that shit again. If the next head's a cat, My... a rat, a dog, he will never forget again. I promise. You. My fear with that. Yes, I agree. He's probably never gonna forget that, but it'll turn into something else. He's never gonna trust his parent. God forbid when he has kids. Trust the trust you you forgot. Forgot. What are you? You're not. I'm it's not like you said, down, I'm going away. Be my pets, and I say, nah, fuck that. I said I'll never do it. He forgot him. So it's not a trust on me. Mm. It'll be different if he said, hey, dad, or if he called her and the thing and said, hey, dad, I forgot him. Can you feed him? But you, you forgot, forgot you went and had your phone for two weeks and came back and you thought I was just gonna pick up the slack. See, my thing is, he's 11. I get that. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, that's, a, that's the caveat. You know, if he was like 15, 16, where, you know, responsibility is really a thing, yeah, okay, but, but, but you got to, but like, not like that. Like, if not 11, when? That's traumatizing. When it comes to. Like the only reason why I say that is because it's something so small as ants. But it's were, but like, okay, but like, but like, it's the first time he left it, right? So the first time you explain, you say, "Hey, you left it. I did take care of it this time, but you do it again. Exactly. This time I won't take care of it. You got to give him that. You got to, you got to, you got to give him some grace. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell him he did wrong, and then let him, and then you'll see if he if he does it again. He I does still it again. say you could do that only because it's an ant. These ones died. You see what you did? They died. Let's go get. Let's go in the backyard and get you some more. And let's see what you nah, listen, man, that, Because that, it's ant. Only because it doesn't matter. To him, if it was a, to, even to if him, it was a goldfish, I'd be like, I get it. But to the but kid, the ant is like, the, but to the kid, the, the, the answer dog. Hell no. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's his pet. <laughs> no, way he might let me know. No, but like, he didn't even know which one was which. But it's still, but the way he's explained to it, the way he's explained to it, how much he's into it, that's like, it's more like a, it's more like, it's a real pet to him. It is a real pet. You know, I know it's just ants to you. You but this is an 11 year old kid. You're going to have to agree to disagree no, on this one. A, I don't think he's an asshole. Nah, he's an asshole. I really don't. I think this is, this, this comes Dead down animals to are traumatic, okay? <laughs> to kids, Insects, all right? You, when, when his kid is at school, he's killing five ants in the kitchen without telling him. That's different. They're not in the farm. <laughs> okay. I've, I, hey, I, had, I had an experience. You talk about me, feel like I got ants calling my mother. Hell nah. nah, that, no, that, I that, that, like you know why he's like this calling on you? Because he's not the asshole. Exactly. We don't have ants on us. He's not. He is an asshole. Well, we say he is. You're out rude. Well, no, it's an individual. It's not a team sport. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all say he is. I say he's not. Okay. Nah. We, we're not going to agree on everything. Mm-hmm. It's fine. We're going to argue for pettiness. <laughs> That's what it's probably is. Oh, okay. Keep your mind's open. Yeah, sometimes you're wrong. <laughs> sometimes you're never wrong. Sometimes you're never wrong. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So there's actually, speaking of the podcast, there's actually something we heard, or something I heard earlier today. And it's actually, I can, I'm not going to like call out their name, but it's because it's an active podcast. Um, they're, act, they're doing very, very well. They, it was two girls, American women. Um, from their second episode, they got an endorsement by Barstool. You know, are you yeah, familiar with them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and from, from second, second episode, episode, so that's very, very big. Like second episode, you're already getting an endorsement. They got a collect, I think it was individual. I don't know if it's individual or collective, but 75K a year deal. First year, Barstool. Second episode they ever put out, they get a sign. It comes out later down the year that the reason why they got it is because they're friends with the, one of the main producers of Barstool. They just, it's who you know, you know that's how life works. Nothing, nothing to hate on. A year passes, and then it's time to the. It's a two-year deal. First year passes. It's almost the time for them to start talking about renewal for the second year. One of the girls starts dating a big TV producer, I believe, and he looks at their deal and he's like, "Hey, as much as you guys have blown up, or you ladies have blown up, you deserve way more." When you go to this to this renewal conversation, you should vote. Or you should vote. You should ask for this, this, and this. They go ask for A, B, and C. He drafts it up for them. Presents it to the producer team. They say no. They go back to the boyfriend. He's like, keep pushing. Like that's what a negotiation is. If you really want to buy a car for twenty one thousand, you don't say twenty one thousand. You say twenty six. And they, I mean, you go lower, and then you guys work your way to the middle, stuff like that. So he's like, go do that. So they went and did that. Eventually, one of the uh, the team back down, and they say, you know what? We will give you. 500k each a year because of how big this is blowing up 
and we'll give you the rights to your name. So they didn't even pay attention to that when they signed the original deal. If they had ever quit, they could not. If we had ever quit, we could not go back and go make Squabble Podcast a thing again on any platform. We had to leave that name right where it was. So they gave them the rights back and they said 1500 k each to make it more simple because more players about to jump in. I say I'm okay with it. Britt says no. So we, I look at her and I'm like, 500 k each. Plus we get the rights to our name back for two more years. That's not bad. And Britt's like, I think we deserve more. Like we can, we can push for a little bit more. So we go back to the team again, start talking, start talking. They don't budge now because they've been very, very generous. We come back and I'm like, Britt, I really want to sign it, but it takes two of us because we're partnership. Britt goes, no, I, I want more. I asked her, what do you, what more do you want? And she goes, I don't know, but I feel like we deserve more. So then me, I on the sly have like a side meeting with the producer team. And I'm like, I want to sign the deal. I'm not the one pushing. And we are coming to you as a duo, but I just want you to know this half of the duo, I'm good. I'm good with the deal. I don't know what she's talking about. She's tripping. Long story short, they drop Brittany and keep me and... The show goes on and we've had, I think they replaced Brittany at this point. Am I the asshole for that? <sighs> That's a tough situation. I don't think so. Because, because you, you already negotiated to the point where that's what you guys came up with. Yeah. But now they're like, no, we can get more. When you're knowing that there's no more negotiation with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Even then, 500k a person? Even if it's 500k yeah. split. split. Mm-hmm. For just talking, sitting down and talking for an hour, honestly, you don't have to do the editing, you have an editing team, you're just talking. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> in this scenario, the person that I was playing was being very selfish because you already negotiated a deal where we were making almost seven times as much as we were the previous year, and we got the name back. Which the, Granted, which, which, the, which the name part is probably worth more than the money exactly. they gave in the first place. And then on top of that, I don't even know what more I want. I just feel like I deserve more. Exactly. Like that's just being selfish. Because at that of point. the boyfriend. Yep. Yeah. You feel like, and he couldn't even. This part I don't, I'm adding my own side. I don't know if this is from the story, but he probably couldn't even tell you what more you deserve. Mm-hmm. He's just like, no, I'll push it. But I get the whole point of like, push just to see how far. But once they made it firm, like we're not going higher, then you back off. Okay, fifteen hundred. I mean, a hundred k. Sign the dotted line. Let's keep talking about mm-hmm. the shit we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. But while they also lost money, so while they couldn't, it wasn't like a week thing. It was like months and months. So while they couldn't agree, obviously no no contract signing, no videos go out. They're not getting paid for that. So that's why I was getting frustrated. I'm like, all right, we need to sign something because at this point, like we're losing the money each episode, and we're losing. I don't know how they're gonna break up the whatever, but. Bro, you cannot tell me. There's no way you can tell. And only I thought one of y'all were gonna say yes, or at least argue the little bit of a yes because of the going behind the back part. That 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 I was thinking about that, but I'm like, you have to remember, like y'all two autonomous people. Mm-hmm. So you're agreeing, you want that. I I, I completely get the part. Mm-hmm. It may not even be a game changer for y'all, but. When they, it was similar to me and Eli. When we first started it, it was this whole podcast, this whole thing was your idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I and uh, what's gonna call it? But since we've done it, I before we got this whole team, we got signed, which is not I think my only one episode because we got signed the second episode. I was doing the editing, mm-hmm. but that's not important because I only edited one episode before you got a deal. But I guess I guess that's important for the story. I edited one video, but it was your idea. Did I change your answer? Like, like we started together, it was your idea, you're the one who put the whole thing together. I was just like, yeah, I'm jumping on board. I still say, you <laughs> know, it doesn't make you the asshole because you voiced your opinion to your partner and your partner wasn't listening to you. They were shutting down what you were saying and basically trying to make that decision for you, altering your life, and you just stood up for yourself. So I don't think you're the asshole for that. Why do you say that? Because... <clears throat> Two completely different stories. X amount of podcasts ago, I was sitting right here. Mm-hmm. D was sitting right here. You were sitting right there. And I asked, just to recap for you, Van Eric, there's a story about, uh, let's say I'm a big podcast person, like 
millions of um, uh, subscribers. Then we start dating. And something gets leaked about her, like her, her nudes get leaked or something. And my PR team, my management team is like, hey, you need to have her come out publicly and apologize. She says, hey, I'm, I'm, it sucks that my shit was leaked, but I'm not ashamed of my body. I'm not gonna apologize. Like, it happens all the time. Next week is gonna be somebody else. Da, da, da. And I tell her, I would give her a, a my company gives me, and they say like, hey, if you don't get her to do that, we're gonna drop you. So I give her awesome man that if you don't send out a thing, I'm gonna break up with you. And I asked him out an asshole, and he said yes. Yeah. But it's the same. Is it not similar? Like, because no. you're kind Why of an asshole because somebody... because she she didn't leak it. Yeah. And she's and what is leaked is between it's you both. In the video, technically. No, it's just like, just like, like, she like something that shows, yeah, she'll, something, something she shows somebody in the past exactly, that came out. Yeah, yeah. Like she said, it, it, like it's it's not, it was something done between it, two private people, two mm -hmm. two individuals, but like it was something that was beat. It's not something she feels like, oh, here, look, guys, you know. Here's where you, here's why I here's why I asked. You said that in the in the first one, Brittany's doing something to alter Dahama's life. Mm -hmm. So Daham, it's okay for Dahama. Wait, wait. But you, you didn't say that first. You said Brittany's making a decision that's altering Dom's life, so it's okay, okay for Dom to go break off and do his own thing. In the second one, Brittany's doing something. I could lose my deal. This is I quit my job to do this. I could lose my deal, so Dom can do something with that. This so isn't as agreed for I'll explain like, the difference. The difference is in the story from today. It's not the asshole because you're making the decision based off of you've had the conversation with your partner and your partner is shutting you down off of greed. The other situation, you are the asshole because you're coming to your life or it's not your life partner. I think you said it was like two yeah, months at a time. Couple months in, yeah. But you're coming to your dating partner, whatever you want to call it, and you're basically trying to ask them to shame themselves publicly. Nobody has saying well, you're, you're the saying, shame is already out there. Is. Your body is out there. No, but, but you're, but you're, but you're, no but you're asking to that. apologize for something that really shouldn't be apologized for. Which insinuates be shame. Because she wasn't the one who was here, guys, for you to see. It's yeah. something that got beat, something that was beyond her control. Now, if she can, you can say, can you make a statement saying, hey, like, not apology, but just say, hey, God. you can apologize and say, hey, I'm sorry that, um, you know, this got out. It wasn't meant to be. You know, uh, 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 this was between me and him, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how I got out, so I can apologize for that, but I don't apologize for what's done in the video or nothing like that. Now, that I could accept, but asking her to just outright apologize for like what it fault. is? No. Uh, I don't I don't see it because it's still, in my head, it's still... Intention matters, man. It's yeah. still it's, it's altering my life. Like, I get... I think at the end of the, the other story, you and D end up changing my mind, but I, I, in my head right now, it's still either, both options are still altering my life. One is me, actually both of them is, I could get dropped and lose my livelihood and I have to go back and try to figure out something else. So it's like, I get the whole, because I think we talked about, we were like, oh, when you're in a relationship, you gotta think about the other person, you gotta have their back. But, and I brought up, I was like, I could have your back and we could even say, hey, we could drop this this management company and we can make it on our own and we can cut back but life still goes on like once you're used to a certain lifestyle you can cut back as much as you want the car still needs to be paid and life da, da, da. so it's like when, you, when you're going to somebody's livelihood i don't think it's very hard to like for me to be like but then ask this is okay versus this, this is not ask yourself this, is this your, though like you get a little apology and everything right mm -hmm. so are you gonna are you gonna be feel some type of way if she starts treating you differently because you made her you made her do an apology she didn't want to do because when she was not wrong is she gonna feel the type of way when i start treating her differently when i lose my manage my deal so if neither of you can come to an agreement <laughs> then y'all just need to break up i mean yeah that's ultimately what's gonna happen but just i was just answering when he's like i wouldn't be upset if she i'll actually understand but she would have to understand that I, because only because of the the only reason why to me is not that not as big of a deal is because in the story she says in two weeks is gonna be somebody else. Yeah. In two weeks, if we stand our ground, two weeks it is gonna be somebody else, and I lost my shit. Or you can just apologize, and in two weeks everybody forgets about you, and we can keep doing what we're doing. But you you want me to stand your ground? I got your back. 
But when we lose this deal and it's two weeks and two weeks past and it is somebody else, and we're just sitting here like, damn, we gotta cut back this business because the money's not coming in, then what are we gonna do? I don't know, it must be the areas of me. I don't apologize for shit that ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it, but it's just like when, it, when it's like, that much. Like, because I understand yeah. what you're saying, but at the same time, it's like, I didn't do anything wrong, so why am I doing this? I get it. Okay. I'll, I'll go on the video, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I didn't do it. Yeah. You know, it's like, I wasn't the one who did it. It's like when the celebrity stuff leak all the time, somebody hacked into the stuff and took the pictures, and they're like, oh, this is a scandal. I'm like, no, it's not. They didn't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brit, the last time, the other scenario, Britt was like, you shouldn't associate yourself with that company anyway if they were willing to drop you. And I was like, I think the, re not necessarily rebuttal, but the response that I had was, look, everybody knows how everybody loves drama. Like, that's where a lot of these entertainment media stuff gets their power and their fame and all that. So, so in, in the, the moment, moment, of course they know in two weeks it's gonna, gonna be somebody else's, somebody else's stuff out there. But in the moment, you're was hot, and you're this is a negative representation of our company. So I could understand why they would cut ties with you, or at least make it seem like they cut ties with you. Because oh, we're not tied to this drama. Because everybody loves drama, but nobody wants to be the center of the drama. So I can understand why. Paper ink or cut ties with Bahamas because Bahamas in the middle of a scandal right now. It might end tomorrow, but right now we can't be associated with you because we don't want, you know what I mean? But you know what you also can't control? What if what if all the people watching were watching for her? And then you cut you cut her off, and then now they're like, oh, so because of this, you you got rid of her, blah, blah, blah. We're not watching this show anymore. You lost the money anyway. <laughs> well, no, that's different. Because remember, in this scenario, I'm already blown up. We just started dating. So they were already there for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, if it was, was like this, this, then yeah. But in the scenario, scenario, I was already born. Like, I'm already known. And then we started dating. What if they go ahead and have the girl do the apology, but then the apology gets blown up, and then they drop you anyway? Or that wasn't it. And the, and the, the thing I heard, that wasn't, well, I, they'll never know, because he stood his ground stood with her. Mm. But um, I was suck, because... <laughs> You literally blew this whole thing. Like, all we want her to do is apologize. And then she apologizes and you still drop me. I would need to get in writing. I would have some kind of writing. Like, she apologizes, we're good. Mm. You, she does the apology. We keep doing this and divorce. Look, as soon as, as soon as they say apologize, we drop y'all and Lori, though. That's hmm. I'm sure somewhere. Because an apology precludes you doing something wrong. Yeah. Okay. But I'm sure somewhere in, the, in your contract, it's like, We'll, we'll continue to play blah 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 amount the dude da 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 for endorsement as long as you keep the public the public image in the model. But you have to it. but you have to you would have to show me undeniable proof that the image of the company was hurt and provide proof that what I that I did something wrong in general. Lawyer up, we're going to court. There you go. You can you drop me now. You can drop me now. Of it's like, oh you can drop yeah. me now. With this ten mil that you about to <laughs> pay me, and, I don't know. If it's the thing I've learned from the company that you work for and that we used to work for, and you're not getting any free cop from us, they'll they'll take the lawsuit because they can go through law. I mean, they can go through court cases for they months and draw yeah. that shit out. Yeah. They can afford. But most of the time, they get settled, so I'm getting money. So you ready for the would you rather? Yeah. We got a good amount lined up. So, first one. I'm just. I'm not gonna say would you rather each. I'm just gonna say this or that. Okay. Sleep without a pillow or sleep without a blanket? Without a pillow. Yep. Uh, now without a pillow, it's so weird without a blanket. I've slept without a pillow many times. You're my pillow. Oh no. Oh. I would say I say pillow because you like you keep both hands on. I need some kind of mm -hmm. equilibrium. Right. Never eat a hot meal again or never drink a cold drink again. Hot meal. What? Nah, never cold drink. Cold drink, yeah, because I can just drink something, a drink that's not cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like I, I have no problem with uh, room temperature water. So, right, yeah. I have no problem with room temperature food. Yep. My shit gotta be hot. Spend the rest of your life inside, or to spend the rest of your life outside. Inside. inside. Fuck, I'm doing out there. Exactly. <laughs> I pick inside as well, but I think I would go. Crazy. Probably go. I would go crazy without AC. 
there's I'm less spiders. Crazy, like, I could look out the window. All I want. <laughs> they get in there, but there's less spiders. I could look out the window all I want, and I know I could never step foot up ever again. That would drive me crazy. I'm Not immediately, but like over years and years of that. Yeah, uh, I guess. Secluded, cause, cause just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Lord! And then yeah. Milo gets to go out there and come back. That's 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 when that's when you see Woo. the little story. It was the husband. <laughs> that's snap. It was the husband, and they're like they're interviewing me. I was like, oh, I saw it all along. Crazy. <laughs> now I might be reading too much of it, but I'm almost certain. Like whenever it's, it's mostly TV shows and shit, but like whenever it's the wife that dies, it's like always look at the husband. Always look at the, whenever the husband is like. They don't, don't immediately look at the wife. Especially if it's on Lifetime. They'll ask. Yeah, but they, they don't, don't like immediately point the finger. But when it's the wife, it's like, the, you check the husband, check the husband. I'm like, the husband just had to snap, but the wife is just the same woman. Uh-huh. No because, because they're doing that. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. I'm sleeping in here for now. But there's one. <laughs> wear the same thing every day or never wear the same thing twice? Never wear, wait, same which one? Twice. Yeah, I'd rather never wear the same thing twice. Because if I'm wearing the same thing, that's, that's, that's going to add up. Yeah, that's going to stink, though. I know. Same, never wear the same. You know how many clothes you'll go through? I'm talking about, like, all the way down to your socks and boxes and underwear. That's fine. It's better. Never wear the same thing twice. Ever again in your life. You know how much money you're about to be going through? We're, that's, not what the, that's not what it's asking, bro. Uh-huh. It's literally <laughs> said, never wear the same thing twice. Yeah, but it didn't say nothing about money. It could just be free clothes. But that's just us bringing it to like, It could just be free clothes. Where the heck are you going to get free clothes? Amazon. Uh, <laughs> free clothes on Amazon? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but not underwear and socks. Well, oh, maybe socks. If Amazon set the game on the girl, they're giving out underwear in the giveaways. Hey, I would love that little Amazon brand. Yeah. That's crazy. Be trapped in the Meanwhile, zoo. Meanwhile, we just said we weren't going to give them free clouds. Oh, whoops. <laughs> be trapped in a zoo with a lion. Or trapped in an aquarium tank with a shark. Zoo with the lion. Zoo with the lion. I'm, I'm, I'm water. No. Not deep water. Not going to work for me. I'm dead. You're going to assume the shark? I didn't say anything. I didn't <laughs> say anything. You sound like you're about to say go. No, I'm just saying. Plus, plus like, it's, it's a kitty, so I'll, uh, and I'll, I'll take my chances. I can be trapped in a zoo with a lion and the lion still be in its pen. You said I am actually in the tank with the shark. Mm-hmm. And I can somehow tame the lion. Look at kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Cat. Constant back pain or constant headache for the rest of your life? Ooh, headache. Back pain. Hell. My back is hurting right now. Headache? I have headache. I, 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 I think back pain. Back pain. Mm. You're crazy. How bad of a back pain? It's just a back pain. It's, uh, just above the level of uncomfortability. But I can so, like, so even if it was the same scale of a headache versus back, I still think that headache is hard to function. Even with the slightest headache, it's hard to do like the easiest shit. Yeah, I'll probably take the back. The rest of your life, just the rest of your life. Headache. All right. So you are a headache. No, she <laughs> gave me a headache, and I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Ting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see blurry for the rest of your life or see everything in black and white? Black and white. I live that blurry life already. Yeah. I say blurry. If only if if I was born, if I could if chose black and white and I can go back to birth and I never got to experience color, black and white. But to go from this and then just see black and white from this moment on, no. Because I've experienced color. I know what I'm missing. But blurry is just like, okay, you're a little eh. You're a little unclear. But I can still and see to clarify, color. this also includes you cannot do glasses. Like even if you try to do glasses, yeah, it's still blurry. That's fine. Yeah, no, I'd rather right. be a little still unclear. Be blurry. Than, than all of a sudden, you can't all, these, drive. all these vibrant can't colors. Read. Yeah, I'll take black and white. It's just now. Nah, I drive yeah, as much as I drive now. I, I'm not without that. Nah, I'll take black and white. Now my life is just a classic movie. Nah, bro. Yeah, it's just black and white. Colors aren't that don't important. Know what is, Man, now just focus on on my shadow lighting. Yeah, I can still drive too because the uh, street lights are always in chronological order. If it's, chronological. If it's in daytime, you won't necessarily depending on some of the street light, you won't know which one's which. Take a chance. All right. Yeah, just go when everyone else goes. Exactly. 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 <laughs> never know what time it is, or never know what day it is. Time. Time. Because yeah, I, I don't care about that. Mm-hmm. But I gotta know at least what day it is. Hmm. 
eat junk food for a year or salad for a year? Salad. Eat junk food. I pick salad. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to junk myself. Food, you, you, remember, you remember, uh, what is that? The, the dude that ate McDonald's, McDonald's for like, yeah, yeah, yeah different junk food. Super size me or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you still choose junk food? That wasn't like junk, junk I'm talking. Cause, I, Cause I'm imagining myself every day with a salad. You could dress it up differently. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. Tuna salad and with salad. You'd be salad. salad as hell. I would be. And then, but it's a salad. Pasta salad? Every day. Nah, give me that bad shit. Fuck that. <laughs> Two million right now? Or one dollar for every step you take for the next year? Dollar. You want, you're not gonna hit two billion. Oh, you said billion? I a thought you said million. million. I don't think you hit two million in a year. Two million steps in a year. Even if you Let try. And if you did, you'd be the healthiest motherfucker in the world. Where's my calculator? Give me the money because then I don't gotta walk. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the money. I don't know. I'll invest in something like, like walker. Do your know. highest remember what's the highest steps you remember from back in the warehouse days? Like thirty two? Okay. Thirty two hundred? Thousand. Do that times the I've I've been struggling the three sixty four. I've been struggling to get into ten. <laughs> yeah, but the building we worked at is like three times the size. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly how big y'all's building was. Oh, yes. And that was your peak. Warehouse day. But you that'll get me. You don't do that no more. You, you don't, don't work there no more. You're not that active anymore. How much is that? Is that a bill? That's a bill. Uh, 1.2 bill. Yeah, and that's if you do it every day. day. You're, you're not, not going to work 30,000. Even, even if you were back over there, you're not going to work 30,000 a day. You didn't even work there every day. Okay, so <laughs> how much do you think I walk in a day? 20,000? Hell no. Okay. Nick, how much? Where you work at? Oh. Oh, now. Like, oh yeah, you you're right. Be doing that. So ten. I'll tell you. Look at your watch right now. I struggle at that ten, man. Do go, go back, back to the day that you felt like you were the most active at work since you started the job. If you can remember, obviously it's gonna be hard to remember. I don't know how to get to it on my watch. Oh, you can't do it. I don't use this thing. Let me see. Can I do it on here? Wait, with, with the, the 10, ten, how much was that? Uh, ten is. 3.65. No. So more than two. Don't do that every day, though. Fine, give me the two. I'm just trying to be realistic. Give me the two. If, if for the sake of being healthy, like you'd be the healthiest motherfucker. But then it'll, it won't come back immediately. But like, as soon as I hear it, I mean, you get that. I think it'll be easier. But does this change your answer? You chose right away, right? Yeah. Does this change your answer if just like a paycheck, you got paid for those steps every Friday? So every Friday they'll pay you. Okay, you work this week. You walk thirty-two thousand. Just throwing out a random number. So you get thirty thousand deposited. Does it help with the weekly check-in? Do you change your answer, or you still take two? Said it's a dollar per step. Dollar per step. So you get a weekly check of the previous week's walk uh, steps. Does that change your answer? It might change my answer because then like, and then you get like a you get a constant reminder like, okay, I walk. So you can quit your job. Yeah, you can quit your job with either answer. Yeah, but true. I think. But I could quit my job with more money if I choose the second yeah, one than if I just actually walk. Although I'm at like 3,800 steps, and I just came from the Atlanta airport, so and I walked a lot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, 3,800 times. Just, just, just give it a lump sum, man. A lump sum. Yeah, yeah lump sum. Yeah. You want me to do it? And and no taxes taken. I don't want that money. Yeah, no yeah. tax. No tax. Okay. okay. Then when yeah. you take the two mil, what's your like? Are you quitting immediately? No. Immediately. immediately. Invest I'm investing. The two whole two mil? Not the whole I'm thing, gone. but a good chunk of it. Two mil isn't going to last you. Yeah, I invest it, but I'm also gone. I'm not working there no more. Oh, well. I'll, mm -hmm. go, I'll go do Uber Eats in the meanwhile. <laughs> like, while the investment okay. goes up. I'm not quitting, but. Ooh, I, I mean, honestly. Shit I don't like. <laughs> honestly, we could quit and just. Keep living the life that we're living, like not go above our means, put it into it's an investment account, and then live off of the interest from the investment. Me being me, hard. I'm gonna walk in there, I'm gonna clock in, it'll be like, hey, we need this, this, this. I'm like, nope, <laughs> and I'm just gone. Yeah. So I'm like, why would I, why would it's I? It's easy for, I'm not saying you won't do it, but it's easy for us to say that because it hasn't happened. 
So you know you have two mills to say like, I'm not gonna change anything. I mean, what else do we need? Cause like, I'm not saying, but people find some shit to need when they have money to buy shit with. Yeah. But it's like, I'm not saying we're I mean, gonna buy to brand new cars, off the lot, but like, it's hard to say that we're gonna stick exactly what we've been yeah. doing. That goes back to the last episode when we were like talking about, uh, what was it, content versus happiness or something like that? Mm-hmm. Like, I comfortability would be versus, comfortability, yeah. yeah. I would be comfortable living how we are, but not having to go to work. That, I would be happy going. And living how we are and not going to work yeah. versus going above and beyond getting yeah. Lamborghini here. No, that's what I Nobody said do here. that, but it's really unrealistic to say I want to do exactly it. like I've been doing as if I didn't have it. Because you know you have it. Have Nobody does that. I'm not saying go buy the brand new car off the line in mm-hmm. 2024 or, yeah, the brand new 2024 in January. But it's unrealistic to say I'm going to live exactly like I was before. I mean, I think the most that we would do is like, Maybe a dinner or something. Maybe a three day vacation. But I don't see anything more. <laughs> listen, than listen. Anything. I'm 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 having filet mignon oh. on a on oh, a God. boat on a. I'm sorry, on a yacht. On a boat. That's that's what we do. Like I'm on a yacht having nice. filet mignon. That's one. That's me. I'm two million. And I'm that's eating nice. it off of a woman. Ooh. Hey, what that two million? <laughs> what that? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my first. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you don't ever like listen that. to music again, or lose the ability to read and you don't gain it back? I'm still trying to figure out what you were ooing for. <laughs> I didn't say I want. I said, ooh, that's crazy. He was thinking of like, you as right. the woman. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Oh, okay. Never listen to music again, again, or lose the ability to read and never gain it back. No, read. Read. I, I need. What? I need music. You lose, so you can never read again. I need music. Which brings me to another alive, thing. Yeah. Let's pause this real quick. These kids nowadays don't know how to read. Yep. Don't know how to tie their shoes. Can work an iPad. Know exactly what Captain Crunch means. They, they can, can read. read. They know that that's Captain Crunch, mm-hmm. and that's same with Toast Man. That's. Prop, the list goes on that Skittles as in, but they don't know that S K I T T L E S spells Skittles. They don't know how to tie the shoes. If not, and not every kid in America, but like you know, at least two kids popped in each of our minds. Yep. When I said yes, they survived, but no music, you can't live. Honestly, America's literacy is. Insane. I saw a video the other day of this grown man, like forty year old, forty years old, in his car crying because he was in GED class or something, trying to pass his English and he couldn't read the sentence. And he was crying, he was like, I should know this, but he didn't. Yeah. Crazy. What I happened to that no child left behind shit? I mean, he's like, let's, let's say that's fine. Right. <laughs> but was that always a thing or was that like, I no, that was, that was Bush. Like, yeah, 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 that, so was, that was Bush. He definitely yeah. is too old to be, yeah. Okay, just, oh, no, just ask. So you said read, read. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Music is. Music's too important. Music makes you lose control. Yeah. No. Okay, okay Missy Elliott. Um, always have to say what you think, or un- be unable to say what you think in a heated argument. Always say what I think. I guess I'll take always. Cause I gotta let you know you are here, man. Imagine though, be, because, you can be talk, not everything needs to be said out loud. Very true. So you think you have to say it. You don't even get the control that like, already starts coming out. But you're tripping. No, Y'all no, are so no, 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 but, but <laughs> that's not the way. Y'all turn Cause down. Because like, like not being able to say it with like, cause like when I really do want to say it, I can't. Yeah. And that's going to destroy me. That's not why I chose mine. I chose mine because I basically already say what I got to say. No, you, you, I promise you, you don't. No? You, you do not say, say you do not say every single thing that comes to your mind. Because you would, I promise you, I, well, I don't, I don't promise you. I probably wouldn't be here. You probably would have no friends. There's no way everybody says every single thing that comes out of their mouth. I mean, in their head. That's me some okay. kind of filter. You, you might say, you might, might not filter, filter as much, but you definitely don't say everything. Quick question. Yeah. Do you guys have an inner voice? An inner voice, uh-huh. yeah. 
Okay. Because because I remember somebody <laughs> asked that question before, and it was like somebody replied. Purpose. Somebody said like they don't have that, and I was like, but how? Like, That's do you not thinking. do you not think to yourself? Yeah. Like, and I said no. Yeah, and I was like, but how does that work? Like, it does. It's like you don't have a brain. You have to have conversations with yourself. Yeah, you don't have. To. I don't have a conversation. I'm, I'm gonna say I have a conversation. I'm I would right think now. it through, like. Should I, like, I, but I don't sit here and ask, should I do, like, like I wouldn't ask myself, should I do this or this, and then I'd be like, well, I don't think I want to do this, and then go back, like, when, that's, when I hear conversation, I'm thinking, like, I'm going back yeah, and forth, yeah. like, because then there's an A and a B, it's mm-hmm. just me, I'm just thinking through what I'm about to do, and I'll do it, I, well, what do you think, well, that's what I think when, you, when I hear you say conversation, I don't have a conversation, because then I'm crazy, oh, okay, I got a real bad week, yeah, <laughs> all right. So you, I'm sorry. Uh, you said always have to say. Always mm-hmm. have to say I say yeah. Be unable to say that. Damn, he did not get tonight. Cause, cause, I, if if this situation, I want to tell you, you're a dumbass. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm not holding you there. Never get tired or never get sick. Sick. Tired. Tired. Yeah. Never get tired. Really? Yes, because yeah, yeah. I, I get, I'm older now than y'all, but like, start getting really tired for no fucking reason. I don't believe it. Like, oh, I get, I get, like, do you get sleep? I got a lot of sleep. Why are you tired? I don't know. Well, you know what? <laughs> I've been sick plenty of time. I was sickly kid, so I'm. I changed my mind because I actually don't remember the last time I was sick. So. I'm constantly sick, so whatever. But just because you can't remember the last time doesn't mean. It won't. It won't ever happen. And maybe the one, the one next time it happens is the biggest sick you ever. Been. Yeah. You know what I mean, so this is promising you like you will never get like these COVID, these new strains of mm-hmm. yeah. of Optimus Prime and all these niggas. Like I mean, you would like, never get that. My, my dad, like he would never be sick. And then he got sick, and he was ba- he basically thought he was dying. Aww. Like no, that was funny. Was like, it was like, funny. Yeah, because he's like, like such a baby. A baby but like, and and because I'm thinking of all the years, because I like I said, I was sick all the time, mm-hmm. right? So I'm thinking of all the years where he's like, well, you know, get up for school, and I'm like, I'm sick, I don't feel good. Oh, you just don't want to go to school. I go to school. Well, come pick me up. And now, <laughs> now, now you're mad. Like, you know, I could, well, I would have already been home. If I gave you guys eighty six thousand dollars right now, mm-hmm. and Let's say you got a ticket for a hundred dollars, right? Would you harp on that hundred dollars or continue to be happy about the eighty six thousand that I gave you? And be happy. I would be mad that like damn, I gotta spend a hundred dollars, but I'm not gonna harp on it. Yeah. yeah. yeah I got I got eighty six thousand, hundred dollars ain't nothing. Exactly. Well, it's not, not nothing. Yeah. But, <laughs> but in the but grand scope of things. I did something wrong. I sped. I yeah. got a ticket. Okay, yeah. damn. I gotta pay it. Yeah. Okay. It's, 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 so, same scenario. The eighty-six thousand I was referring to. There's actually eighty-six thousand four hundred seconds in a day. So, don't let one small thing ruin your day. That's essentially my hot take. Yeah, I've, I don't know if it was a hot take, but we talked about it before. Where it's like. When people come home, like, oh, I had a shit day. Mm-hmm. Did you have a shitty day, or did you have a shitty moment mm-hmm. and you let that control your day? Mm-hmm. Now today I had a shitty day. Yeah, like it was back to back event. <laughs> but I have had moments oh. where I've had, had days where it was that one moment and it just pissed me off and it just everything else is, outside of winning the lottery could not have made my day better. But today, I mean, yeah, I know it's okay. Sunday, Sunday I was. Pretty much like, oh, this is a shit day because I got into an accident. Everything else is fine. But then once I saw Stephanie the funny. That's crazy. I didn't let that small moment <laughs> ruin the day. Which yeah. I don't know if it's a small moment or just like the atmosphere. But I've been really irritated the last like two days. And I'm trying not to, but. What did you do? <clears throat> well, thank you, Scalbo Podcast, for tuning in. It's been a pleasure to speak with you guys. Drop your comments in the comment box. Make sure you subscribe and share with all your friends. Keep your minds open and your volumes turned up. We out!
like that. But it's not the end of your. That that I I I, 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 want, I wish I. <laughs> Try to, uh, at least try to tone it down. This one's ah. What, what's the outro again? I'm oh my god! <laughs> you know what I found out this week? They said that you can no longer run at the ground. That they have to ran into the ground. Cause that's it. Get out.